So here's a ViewSonic 4K DLP projector for only uh, $14.99. So what is the name no, of this one? No, this, one. this is a PX727-4K. So uh, right here is a PX727 4K. How soon is it available? It's available for pre-order next week. Next week? Yes. Okay. Uh, and we're, ship we're shipping this uh, next month. Next month. Yep. So uh, this is the previous one you have. This is our uh, projector. So this is a, a home projector, home yeah. theater projector. But before ViewSonic have a bigger 4K one, right? Uh, no, this is our first first 4K projector. The first 4K? Yeah. There was one like uh, uh, that was that's the first one. Right? Yes. Uh, the first 4K projector. Right. So uh, it's quite compact. Yep. It's, uh, what's the lumen? This is a. Uh, Two thousand lumen. I know, right? The size of yeah. all the rollers. Grand Master design, the Grand Master business. What is that? An RGB, RGB color wheel, so it has a really good color. But you say the has a RGB, RGB color wheel, so it has a really good color for like, especially for movies and and home theater settings. And uh, what's the connectors right here? It has uh, two HDMI port. One is HDCB 2.2. Yeah. Uh, supports 4K signals, and the other one is a regular HDMI port. It has a VGA port, and also audio in and out. So 4K signal can only come here? Right, it comes to the HDMI this is port. Is 1080p? Yes, yeah, 1080p. Right. And uh, audio out? Yep, and audio in right here. In. So you can output your sound to like a stereo system if you want to. And we got RS-232 port as well for controls and a USB power port so you can connect to your like uh, Chromecast or Amazon Fire TV and just plug it in right here, you don't have to plug it into an external like, power source. The best input is um, Netflix and Amazon 4K, right? That's a great input. And YouTube 4K? Yeah, you can do that too. So much content, right? Yep, Like my video right here. Yeah. It's 4K. 4K, yep. It's the best one, it's the best way to watch it is here. Yep, exactly. It's much better than a TV, right? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, unless you get a 4K TV, but this will give you a bigger screen and with a uh, highest resolution. What's the aspect? Or what's called the... Uh, aspect ratio? How wide is it? It's uh, 16 by 9. But uh, how, how wide is it? It's one an hour wider at the Dash 65 or something? Oh, it's uh, 20, 2160. 2160, yep. So it's a uh, standard 4K so UHD. It's a, makes a wide, big picture. Yeah, wide. Yeah, that's fine. Yep. You can, you can, you can split photo away. You can create a bigger screen. This is perfect. What is this? This is a wide screen. gaming projector right here. So is that the... That's not a 4K, is it? It's a 1080p right here. Yep, so uh, it's an ultra short though. You can put it right, right next to your wall and create like a big size image right here. And this one is a very bright or what? Oh, this is a high minus laser. Yep, it's about 5,000 units. This one is a 1080p version. We have a WUSJ version as well. How does it compare? Laser and LED? Um, so laser DLP. This is a laser DLP. How does it compare with the LED DLP? Uh, laser is uh, higher brightness, and it's, uh, the life of the light source is similar to LED. But um, and compared to traditional lamp base, lamp base usually have like a shorter lamp life, so it has like maybe uh, I don't know 8,000 hours on average. But laser you can go up to like 30,000. So you don't have to change lamps every so often. Less right. minutes. So uh, why is the name so complicated? PX727, what does it mean? Uh, it's just uh, how we name our projectors. Uh, PX is for uh, home theater type of projectors. We have our laser projector, it's called LS. stands for laser. And then we have other, uh, that one is also a PX series because it's for like home theater settings, gaming and stuff like that. Yeah. And also we have our regular like PA or um, PG, stuff like that for uh, entry level or for commercial usage. So that's how we can... How long is the lamp life? Uh, the lamp life it's about, I would say, right here, up to 15,000 hours. So this so is... So it's an LED? You know, this is a, a lamp, traditional lamp base. How can it be so long? Because we have a... Uh, 3,000 or what? 
normal now? Uh, normal, like maybe 5,000, and then uh, with the newer technology, we improve our lamps. 15,000, that's like the LED uh, LED can go up to like 30,000. So. so that means you can buy this and you can use it for 10 years, right? Depends on how, much, how often you use uh, the projector. It can potentially last for up to 10 years. I use 1,500 every year. Okay. Yeah. So okay. 10 years for me. Yeah. There you uh, go. So $1,500, $1,499 today. Yep. Uh, but before the end of the year, you can put it down $999, $999 or not? It's possible. Special deal? But yeah, could be. Could yeah. be? Um, yeah. So maybe. Maybe. It's By possible. the end of the year, yeah. I mean, Normally your projector go down before the end of the year, the price? Or? Uh, it depends on what projector it is, but you know. But 4K is possible. And this is using the TLP uh, 4K technology, pixel shifting. Yes, it is. But on the screen, you see 4K. You see pixels, 8 million right? pixels. All of them are there. All of them are there. You don't see any wobbling, nothing, zero of that, right? It's like a native 4K. It's the same. Yeah, right? pretty much. What's yep. the difference then? What What's going to be the difference? If in the future there's a native 4K, what will change? Yeah, uh, maybe if you want. If you want like a native 4K, you have to pay for like a native 4K chip, which is like twenty thousand dollars. But with with a pixel shifting technology, you can use a lower resolution a TI chip and use a pixel shifting to create like an eight million pixel image on a screen. So the difference is really like small. Of course, native 4K has actual 4K TI chip there, but with the pixel shifting, you can't really tell the difference with like your naked eye. You can't, you can't tell the difference. So if you can't tell the difference, there's no difference. If you are willing to pay like the, the twenty thousand price point, you get a true four K image. It's it's you know it's it's up to you up to you actually if you want to pay for the full price. Do you have this at home now? I don't. We just launched it. You don't have it yet. No, it's a sample we have. But after CES, you will have this, right? Yeah. Four K project in my home. So you don't have four K now? I don't have it yet. So it will be a big change, no? Yeah. Big change. It will be amazing now. Yeah. You will have to pay two dollars more every month for Netflix. Get a 4K content, it's right? It's okay, right? It's worth it. It's worth it to yeah. get 4K Netflix. Exactly. But I wish they would have 30 megabit uh, higher bit rate. They I only know. have 15 megabit. And if you have 150 inch, maybe it's not enough bit rate. You need to call Netflix and tell them to give us more bit rate. No, that's not upgraded the bit rates. Because for TV is okay. But this is not TV, this is much bigger. Yeah, you get a bigger screen, right? So you get a bit higher bit rates. And how do you compare with Optima and BenQ? Uh, and Acer? Optima and BenQ, they have similar technology with, with our, our 4K uh, projector. Uh, what we provide is that we, we have a really affordable price point. And I think their price point is higher. Yours is smaller, no? Uh, similar in size. Similar in size? Yep. Um, but price? Yeah, we, have, we provide a, a more affordable price. And some technologies and colors or something else? or And it's similar. It's similar. similar, yep. All right, cool. So how many projectors do you sell every, every year? Secret or? Uh, it's, it depends on which, not millions, but you know, I don't have a number on top of my head right now. But, but it, with the 4K now, they should probably grow your market, Oh right? yeah, the, the forecast of 4K is like, it's going up a lot. It's, I hope so. Yeah, it's 2018. Because yeah, everything is 4K right now. So. Hopefully the price, you can, you can uh, bring I'm sure that the price is going to drop and make it more affordable for everybody. Just like how 1080p projector was, you know, yeah. like they just, they, when they launched it, they were at a higher price point and more and more people come out with 1080p uh, projectors and the price point will go down. I think 999, everybody should buy. That's good. 1499, only point. half of people should buy, right? But that's maybe good enough for you, okay? Yep, yep, yep. Okay, thank you.